section six of Irvington Township for Tom Bustrom, washout tile. Um, and then I've got number, I need to send that to uh, Erpelings. And then I've got uh, number 57 in Drainage District 156. Irvington Township from Galen Casey, but we're going to hold this one. I talked to Galen, and um, they're not sure if it's the county tile or the private tile, so we're, we'll hold this till we know. Okay. Okay. What number was that one? That was 57. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, I had number 49 was Reggie Shuter, um, Lincoln. 27 broken tile flagged in the end rows of the corn. And then 48 is Phil Meyer broken tile washout in Seneca 22. And Ryan Farland grant section 9 was a connection to private tile connection to the new main that was put in. Uh, Gene Thompson found it. I think they thought it was possibly private before, but Zach has already hooked it back up, so there won't be any charge for the actual hookup. Um, it should just be the investigation, so to speak, in the beginning. So um, that's what I got. So I move the supervisor to take care of the request. I'll do you want to do with the exception of the one that we're holding? Okay. Yep. Okay. And that was 57? Yep. Yep. All right. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. All right. We got those done. Any um, update from Jacobson West Regard on Pack One or anything. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, yeah. Um, so we did end up getting an email from uh, the Department of Natural Resources, and there is grants available. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Which email it was here? Um, EWP funding. Uh, emergency watershed protection funding that is available for this year's damages. Um, couldn't find any damages for last year. It's kind of missing that. There just wasn't anything declared or, or anything. Yeah. So, but for this year, there is some emergency watershed protection funding. Um, so in the, in the process of applying for that and what what that would look like. So that's kind of update there. I need to talk to Colin today again. I talked to him while I was on, actually, <laughs> talking while I was on vacation, actually, but for a few minutes. But uh, um, he's wanting to get a meeting set up here in a couple of few weeks. Um, and so I'll talk to him after the meeting today and see what we can get on the agenda for starting the conversation. Okay. So there's a couple different options and whether we are, or whether the landowners are going to want to slope the ditch. Uh, back again better than it was or it's going to be a lot of riprap in a lot of places so whatever option they're wanting to go because um, he was looking at a second option of it was slow back one and a half to one before and he was looking at two to one that would be which is what it should that's, have been that's what we did on drain four with the right. project and, and then i thought that but, held up very well but, this spring but that was one of the options that he's been exploring too so we'll see what just need to have that starting conversation with the landowners and see what direction we want to go okay i was just wondering since that prepare request came in if we keep getting more there yep yeah th and things are things are fine in some places and things are getting worse than others so yeah. yeah. So we're going to have a public meeting on it and right. decide which one to do? Correct. Yep. Should, and yeah. Take bids or? Well, well, I'll, I would, I'd say we'll see what the landowners want to do and then we can determine how to bid that up from there. I would think discussion in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Because to go to the work of 
some initial feedback would probably be valuable. I mean, even if it's a mixed reaction, then it's probably worth getting bids just so you can see the price comparison. But if there's a lot of support or no support, it would be good feedback. Depends on how you looked at it. You know, if you just did it each one of the places individually, you could do it on a request, or if you're going to do it all in one big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To get bids on it. Yeah. Well, if you, yeah. I suppose we'll decide it that day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, we we know there's substantial damage along the whole ditch now, so. Yeah. yeah, I mean we we did handle a couple one-on situations here and there already, but and a couple guys have went ahead and fixed their own before we got there. So, okay. Well, sounds good. Anything else for drainage or anything else you got for us, March? Just the PAK-1 Palo Alto board would need to get your report at the same time. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, sounds good. We'll move on to discussion with our auditor. Okay. Thank you, Marge. Yep. Thanks, Marge. Thanks, Marge. So our primary election is finished. We'll do the canvas here shortly after we're done with this. Um, things went pretty smoothly. No complaints. Um, I did receive a note in the mail from Kathy Gerber. Um, it says, would you please make copies of this on the for the supervisors and go over it with them? It contains important info and I don't think they get the paper. Thank you, Kathy Gerber, Secretary AAUW. And I put copies of um, each of the cutout from the paper on your desks. Um, it's in regards to... Library. Library cuts, yeah, yeah. Yep. pretty much um, sums it up. So just wanted to remind you of that and let you know that she did send that to me and asked me to put a, you know, to go over it with you, which put a copy on each of your desk. So yep. if you want to go over it more with me, I can otherwise. Yep, thank you for passing that on. Okay. Um, then just a reminder, um, North Iowa Regional Housing Authority is still looking for somebody on their board as well as NIACOG. Uh, question for the Regional Housing Authority Board. Someone that is an owner of rental units that receive funding from them, is that a conflict of interest to be on the board? That would be a question for them. Okay. Because okay. I got a call yesterday. I've been in communication with someone about um, and she was wondering, well, is it a conflict of interest? They, so, give you they sent out a letter to everyone that they deal with, yeah. and I, I was asked that recently. I was shown the letter already, but I'm assuming it's the same one I got here. Um, I don't think it is, but that would be a good question for Justin. And probably. I do have a number if you need it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He would be able to give you a better answer then. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's someone potentially interested, but then then hope that would be a conflict. They are potentially willing to do it. She didn't give a full commitment, but okay. <laughs> okay. she wanted to know if it was possible. Yeah. Okay, then as far as next week's agenda, we have approving resolution to dissolve the 2080 agreement with Precinct Atlas and approve and sign project hope proclamation. So far, that's all that I have on there. That's good to keep it that way. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, Jack? Nope. No, 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 uh, I was on vacation, so no. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think I had any. Yeah, I don't think so. Trying to. All right. Well, I had a membership standing committee meeting for NACO last Tuesday. 
Um, there was a new county in Iowa that signed up as members. I don't remember, I think Ida County maybe. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, I would entertain a motion. If there's nothing else, I would entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. We don't have to adjourn this one. Or do you want it? Well, do we have to have the other one as a separate meeting though? No. Okay. Well, then we can we can wait with that and go into the canvas here, um, and we can adjourn after that. So. Did we get a motion on that? Was it to be I don't know. Did anyone? What? Move to adjourn. No. no. Oh, okay. I, I okay. thought you had well, some well, second, so yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, so, Canvas. the abstract of votes here. Okay, so I'm guessing you want to sign them all at the end after we're done with the going through all the votes? That's fine. Okay, so do you want me to read them? If you'd like, or otherwise I can, or we can split it if you want, or whatever. I don't think it'll take that long. Shouldn't be too long. No. So, United States Representative District 4 Democratic ballot for the 2024 primary election held on Tuesday, June 4, 2024. Ryan Melton received 169 votes, scattering zero votes for a total of 169 votes. State Representative District 9 Democratic ballot, Christian Heman Schlerth. 125 votes, scattering one vote for a total of 126 votes. State Representative District 10, Democratic ballot, scattering of four votes. County Board of Supervisors District, District 2, Democratic ballot, scattering six votes for a total of six votes. County Board of Supervisors, District 5, Democratic ballot. Bruce Minders, 32 votes, scattering three votes for a total of 35 votes. Bruce Minder is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Board of Supervisors, District 5, Democratic ballot. County Auditor, Democratic ballot, scat scattering 16 votes. Amber Garman, 10 votes for a total of 26 votes. County Sheriff Democratic Ballot, scattering nine votes. Roger Fisher, 39 votes. Brian Runneberg, 11 votes for a total of 59 votes. United States Representative District 4, represented Republican Ballot. Randy Feenstra, 795 votes. Kevin Virgil, 717 votes. Scattering five votes for a total of 1,517 votes. State Representative District 9, Representative Republican ballot, Henry Stone, 1,057 votes, scattering 15 votes for a total of 1,072 votes. State Representative District 10, Republican ballot, John H. Wills, 255 votes, scattering one vote for a total of 256 votes. County Board of Supervisors, District 2, Republican ballot, Howard Haas, 140 votes, Will Stricker, 79, 79 votes, Scattering zero votes for a total of 290 vote, 219 votes. Howard Haas is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Board of Supervisors, District 2, Republican ballot. County Board of Supervisors, District 5, Republican ballot. Amber Garman, 173 votes. Dennis Higgins, 99 votes. Christian Schlafer, 62 votes. Scattering three votes. Mount Haler, 58 votes for a total of 395 votes. Amber Garman is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Board of Supervisors, District 5, Republican. County Auditor, Republican, Tammy Eden, 1,403 votes, scattering 35 votes. Total of 1,438 votes. Tammy Eden is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Auditor, Republican. County Sheriff, Republican, Brian Runneberg, 464 votes. Roger Fisher, 1,173 votes, scattering one vote for a total of 1,638 votes. Roger Fisher is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Sheriff, Republican. United States Representative District 4, Libertarian ballot, scattering two votes for a total of two votes. State Representative District 9, Libertarian ballot, scattering two votes for a total of two votes. State Representative District 10, 
libertarian ballot, scattering zero votes for a total of zero votes. County Board of Supervisors, District 2, Libertarian Ballot, scattering zero votes. Will Stricker, one vote, total one vote. Will Stricker is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Board of Supervisors, District 2, Libertarian. County Board of Supervisors, District 5, Li Libertarian, scattering zero votes. Dennis Higgins, two votes. Amber Garman, two votes for a total of four votes. We have a tie. In that case, you will have to draw lots to decide who, if they elect to, will be duly nominated for the Office of County Board of Supervisor District 5 Libertarian Ballot. When do we do that? Right now. Ooh. Oh. So, let's see, I didn't bring a container. Let's open this real quick. Here, I got one. Here, let's open the table. We'll use him. Yeah. And they're both signed. Both same size, both same font. I'm gonna fold them each exactly the same in half. Mm -hmm. the chairman draw. This is how we elected our mayor. A lot. <laughs> we didn't put it on the windows of a Funk and Wagner for one day. Okay, and he chose oh. Amber Garman. So if she chooses, um, Amber Garman will be duly nominated for the office of Kissuth County Board of Supervisors, District 5, Libertarian Ballot. I have a feeling you should probably Okay, so let's do that. I just got to Okay, County Auditor, Libertarian Ballot, scattering three votes, a uh, total of three votes. County Sheriff, Libertarian, scattering two votes, Roger Fisher, eight votes for a total of 10 votes. Roger Fisher is to be duly nominated for the Office of County Sheriff, Libertarian Ballot. Okay. So they're going to be on the ballot for the If they party. choose to be, which would mean they wouldn't be able to be for their other parties, That's for the, on okay. the Republican. Except for those that, like Will Stricker, he would be able to be on the Libertarian ballot if he chooses. Because he's not the Republican. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you want to... Um, go ahead well. and prove it before you sign it. I entertain a motion to approve the abstract of votes. Okay, motion by Knapp, second by Charks. Oh, oh, you didn't have a motion first. No. Oh, I, okay, that's fine. <laughs> you raised your hand first. I said I'll second before there was a motion. Um, any discussion? All, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. Um, while we're signing yours, everyone's seen the claims and stuff in your folder. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? Okay. Any discussion? Who was the second? Uh, Plath and Jarks. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. Motion carried unanimous. Okay, now we just have, um, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn, then we can sign all these and be done. Is there a second? Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. We can, we are adjourned and we can start signing.